right? All right, so we got low going uh, purple hat Pikachu against uh, a, a naked uh, Caleb. Uh, Caleb seemed like he was in uh, good spirits a few minutes ago, but um, he's always had a thing for for low. Caleb respects low a lot. Well, I'm so accommodating this shit. Fuck it. So, I haven't really played... I don't know. I haven't played low at all this whole tournament, but... Low is a god. Um, so, I expect him to win this match. And, as I say that... Low is dominating, bro. Dominating. Bad dare by Low. Luckily, he gets a stupid Pikachu up B, which probably shouldn't have worked, honestly. But it, it worked. So. Because cause console is fake, and you, you get away with stuff on console. Online, you don't, you don't get away with that stuff. Oh, baby. Grab ledge? No, he didn't grab ledge. I don't know if Caleb reacted to him not getting ledge, but if he did grab ledge and Caleb didn't know that he was going to grab ledge, then he would have obviously edge hogged him, and it would be 4 to 1 right now. But then I'll do it. That will do it. For some reason, there is a banana and an orange right in front of my face. I don't know why there is a banana and an orange right in front of my face, but there is. Nah, I disagree, SKG. I think Caleb's Caleb's really good at Pikachu. Just not. It's only game one, though, dude. Like, th in my opinion, this is Caleb's best matchup. If 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 Lowe's the better player, then he's just a better player. But. I do believe that Caleb is really good at Pikachu Dittos and that he should stick to this matchup. But you know, I've been wrong. I've been wrong before. One time I was wrong. I don't know why this surprises me, even though Caleb just lost his match, but. As someone that primarily just plays online, like Caleb, I don't know if it's just a keyboard thing too, but Caleb like still has like his up B cancels like on lock. So. That might just be you though, SKG. I mean, I have no idea. Uh, Caleb and Lo play a lot online, so I'm sure I'm sure if Caleb's Kirby was better in this matchup than he is in the Ditto, that he would be playing Kirby right now. But Caleb probably realizes that, wow, that dash attack. Caleb probably realizes that he's not good versus low as Kirby versus Pikachu. Cause if he did, he would know, like based off online, like he would, he would know that his Kirby is the better choice, but if he's not going Kirby now, then I believe that he's not that good at the matchup first uh, low specifically. It was just game one though. Caleb can easily win this matchup. No one's updating the score. We don't we don't update around here. I think Caleb has a potential of beating Low, but Low honestly is just so good. I don't know what it is about these Northeastern players, but they are they are good. Huh. Freaking Marcus, bro. Of all people seen the chat, I was not expecting Marcus.
I think top four will be streamed on. I don't know what the main melee stream is, but I'm pretty sure whatever it is, that top four will be streamed on it. I'm not, I don't know for sure what it is, though. I don't know if it's VGBC or not. It's Antoine 420, idiot. I'm the only person at this tournament that would know who Marcuse is. Damn, Low is looking dominant so far. No, I thought, no, I'm pretty sure that Brody beat Hammerheart. I think he beat him either 3 or 3 1. Thank you, Marcus. That really boosts my self esteem. That was a terrible forward smash. I hope that he didn't mean to do that on purpose. Dude, Caleb makes no sense. Like, I guess it's just one set where he beat Robert at um, the Texas tournament. But you would think that like he would be playing at least closer to a point of like like low. With that said though, it's still two two, but like one thirty percent. Like it's yeah, exactly like one trade will will do it. Um, if Caleb doesn't somehow manage to win this game, I would say there's basically no chance that he wins the set. But. He's basically at the. He has to play perfect this 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 game to have a chance at winning this set entirely. And um, Low right there saw that he was gonna go for some kind of approach, waited for it, grabbed him. But uh, we got a edge guard opportunity. Doesn't matter because didn't matter. Yep. And Low plays Caleb all the time, so Caleb just went for his up B cancel, and Low. Low, if anybody knows exactly how Caleb wants to play this matchup, or when Caleb's playing Pikachu, no matter what, there you go. Uh, but but Low is going to be ready for basically every up e edge cancel that Caleb's going for. Low Low knows Caleb better than anyone, because at this point in the tournament, Low is the only person that plays online, which. Caleb obviously doesn't play console very often. So Low is the only person so far in the tournament that's left that knows exactly what Caleb's looking for. With that being said, Caleb's brought this game back really well, but he should not have gone for that down tilt. Yeah. I think if he went for up tilt, it would have worked out better for him. But uh, I mean, it's easier said than done when you're in like mid, mid set. Yeah. Yeah, SKG, like, I've talked to Lo a lot about Smash and just in general or whatever, like, recently. Like, Lo has Caleb figure out better than anyone in this entire tournament. Like, he knows exactly what Caleb wants. Like, obviously, Caleb can still have his really nice punishes versus Kur I mean, not Kirby, Pikachu. But, when it. Caleb's, like, not a super gimmicky player, but like his up B's are kind of a gimmick if you're not expecting them, because he always goes for the ledge cancels, catch people off guard. But Low is the one person that will always know that Caleb's gonna go for his ledge cancels every time, basically every time. If Caleb had one like part of his gameplay that he should mix up, it's his recovery slash uh, ledge cancel like baits, I guess. Yeah, they're very punishable if you know they're coming, but a lot of people don't play Caleb a lot, so a lot of people don't expect it, because it's really hard to react to. Like, if he does, like, the side plat, ledge cancel, like, like normal get up from ledge, side plat, ledge cancel, like, a lot of people don't react in time. But if you expect it to be coming, that's a whole different story.
That was a nice mix up right there. He should have it, but he did a bad forward smash. It wasn't a terrible forward smash, because like you'd expect that like you should be able to hit the Pikachu with that forward smash, but Pikachu has like such amazing angles that like you're surprised sometimes that like wow Pikachu still managed to get around that. There you go. Oh, he should have gone for ledge there. Although, if he did go for ledge there, I think Low Ashu might have still stolen the ledge from him there. I think he went for that dash attack on purpose, but it's like, who, who dash attacks on purpose as Pikachu? Oh my god. Yeah, Low is really smart. Wow, th this is really dominant from Low. I would expect Low to win this set if they played, but like I would, I definitely thought it would be closer. It's just easy to. It, it, it's easy to like not think that Low is as good as he is, but. If you don't play online, then you don't realize how good Low actually is. Low is really good. Like, I don't know if anyone's watching the KD3 Low set and you saw uh, KD3 beat him. I think it was 3-1. But that just goes to say that KD3 is insanely good. Like, the fact that he beat Low 3-1, like, is a testament to how good KD3 is. But Low is insane. Like, even after the set... Minus that SD, whatever. But even like after the set, like Low could easily have a closer set if he plays KD3 again. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. That was jank. Uh, Caleb has a chance. I don't see him pulling it off because one stock to one stock and Pikachu Dittos is not the same as like most other matchups. Especially here. Yeah, see, Caleb won, Caleb won for his ledge cancel on low. Immediately realized that's what he's going for. And yep, that's set.